Welcome back to Genuine Corner, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an exe file for your Java application. So, first thing first, first what you have to do is first we have to convert your Java application into a jar file. Then, using another third-party software, you can convert that jar file into exe file. So. Uh, in this video, I am going to convert our library management software, library assistant written in Java FX to an EXE application. So let's see how we can do that. So the first thing we have to do is, first we have to right click on this library assistant and use this clean and build method. What this does is, this will create a jar file along with the dependencies required. So this is the directory that I have saved my application. I, this is the source code part. I mean, this is the project part. Uh, once I select this clean and build for my project, uh, it will uh, it completed that cleaning and building and in, go to your project folder. In my case, it is uh, documents library assistant. Then inside that dist folder, you can see this much files. So this is the main library assistant jar file which is the main program and then inside a div you have all the dependencies added in this library section so as you can see i have added derby uh, derby jar then jphoenix json and common codec and as you can see we have all those five libraries available here now you can give others uh, your program as a software using this just yes, this folder because if they have installed Java then you can run this Java file as an application now as you can see it is running as a standalone application when I double click on this a database folder is created and since we are using embedded derby database everything that we store in the uh, from the application will be stored inside here so uh, I can use just like as I use uh, it is uh, the username and password is admin admin so i can use it just like a normal application but this is not enough right we have to convert this into an exe application so when we consider converting this into exe we have to convert only this library assistant dot jar not these lib files because this lib file has nothing to do with the executable i mean it is not executed it is only a support library for our main library assistant main program so if you have a lib and uh, main jar file you have to convert to jar file only the main jar file I hope you understood. Then for converting into Java file, you can use this awesome library called Launch4j. I have been using this library for a very long time. So I have you can download it from this download section and I already downloaded and installed it. Launch4j. So if you open the Launch4j, this is the Launch4j window. Let me take it here on the desktop. So inside Launch4j, the first entry is output file. So this output file specifies the exe file location and name. So what I want to do is I am going to uh, documents, library assistant, then inside dist itself, I am going to create an exe file. So the output file will be library software dot exe then press save so when once we complete the process the jar file will be converted into library software dot exe now you have to specify the jar file that has to be converted into this library software dot exe so go into the dist folder just we compile we can have that library assistant dot jar which is your jar file that has to be converted into exe file so i'm going to set that right there then you have some uh, options here suppose the user doesn't have a java installed so we have to we can show some custom error messages like uh, please install java first or simply my awesome program needs java please install java first 
then if you are having some website for help you can give your support you are there so if the user doesn't have a java then this message will be shown to them then the next thing we have to give is icon i mean we have to give icon for the exe so what i'm going to do is uh, i am going to create something like this exe with uh, this icon so if you have watched my library software tutorial series then you you uh, i have a folder uh, in safe source there is a package called resources where i have a png icon so the problem is launch forte does not support png icon you have to have an ico file see you have to have an ico file so there are many online converters and all but i prefer format factory for converting icon i mean any image into any other type i mean for conversion i prefer format factory so i'm going to convert an i a png image into an icon image uh, in the settings i have selected the highest resolution so that i can get better quality so okay then i am going to just start this so now the conversion is completed i got an icon dot ico file right here see i icon dot ico file now i can use that icon for preparing my exe file so selecting the icon it is not in the list it is uh, please select your icon from this window so in my case it is inside this icon folder so that's pretty much the basic configuration now let us come uh, go to class bug now let us go to header which is nothing interesting then coming to single instance here you can specify whether you need only one instance of your application running at a time this configuration is very important or useful for application like my library management software because i am using an embedded database and only one instance of the database can be created at a time so multiple instances of the application cannot be created in such cases i can specify allow only a single instance of the application and i can just give a new text name here it's a unique name so library assistant and i am going to give library assistant here and here comes the bundle jre path suppose you are giving the jar i mean the java along with your product then you can give the bundle jre path here it is not recommended since bundling jre with your product is not a good idea because the new update won't be able to get for your application unless you update your jre so I am not giving bundle JRE path here. Minimum JRE path, JRE version is a mandatory entry. You have to give minimum JRE. In my case, I am going to give 1.8.0 as a minimum JRE version. Then that's about this part. Here you can specify initial heap space and maximum heap space. <laughs> Suppose your program is using a lot of memory, then you might have to consider increasing your heap limit. So you can give your initial heap space and maximum heap space here. Then all those JVM options like XMX, XMS, etc. can be given in this JVM options part. So that's about this JRE section. So uh, then there is splash option. So this splash screen option is used for setting up splash screen for your program to a given time limit. I don't recommend giving splash screen from here because uh, you can give good splash things inside your program itself so if you give that inside your program you can give like the loading screen or something like that so uh, here you have an option to give splash screen then here comes the version info here you can give version of your program so this will be i will show you where this data will be visible once we convert this into an easy application first of all let me just fill this entry so File description, file library management, management software. Then copyright, there is no copyright, mine is free. Then free form product name, I'm going to give it as library assistant. Then uh, internal name, let it be library assistant, original file name, let it be library assistant.exe. So that's it. Then here I am going to give my channel name, genuine corner. Then here you can specify the message. Suppose there is a JRE installed like 1.7.0 or 1.4. Some old JRE. Then you can give your own custom message like uh, this version is not supported. You have to consider upgrading your JRE and all. So like that you can give custom messages here. 
So that's about the configuration uh, in the launch 4J. Now let us save this configuration to some file. So for saving, I am going to the library and system. Then I am going to give an entry here, launch 4J, launch 4J config. Then inside that I am going to give config, then I am going to save it. Now in order to start or initiate the process of converting jar into exe, you can use this button. So build wrapper option. So I am going to press on that and you can see that successfully created my exe file at the specified location disk library software.exe so i am going to the disk section and there you can see library software.exe if i double click on this one i am getting my product running so i am going to log in <coughs> and then as you can see <coughs> It is working as I expected. Now, suppose you want to give this software to someone else, as uh, in case of production or something, you just have to copy this library software.exe file and this library file. I library folder. This lib folder is mandatory because this contains all the libraries that you require for your program. Now, I am going to copy this. Then I am going to paste it somewhere like in desktop. I am going to create a new folder called the library software then in save that i am going to paste it so i have a library software and link once i run this program the database folder and all will be automatically created this config file contains the configuration for my software and i can just use it so that's it guys that's how you convert a jar file into an exe file a lot of people have been asking me about to create a video on this topic so that's why i created it as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and definitely subscribe for more cool videos like this thank you very much